So in this little clip I'll explain the addition rule and why it is of probability and why it is not quite as straightforward as you may wish or think. So we're working with almost the simplest of examples of um, sort of uh, random variables, the outcome of uh, rolling a dice. Now, we know it will be any of these six numbers and we know that each individual probability, so for instance, the probability of getting, so if we call this an X, uh, probability of getting X equals four is of course one over six, if it is a fair dice. So let's define two events, odd numbers or big numbers. So let's call that odd numbers, call that event E. And that is if the outcome is one, three or five, and of course we know that's three out of six, so the probability of E is going to be equal to 0 0.5. And then the probability for big numbers, big numbers are four, five and six, again the probability of that event, probability of F, is also going to be 0 0.5. So now the question is, what is the probability that the outcome is both odd, sorry, is either odd or F, okay? It's either odd or big. Let's also think about the probability that the outcome is odd and big. In fact, let's start with that letter. So let's think about, let's firstly, again, graphically represent our two events in the event space. So E, that is E. Uh, let's think about the numbers in here, uh, one, three, and five. Okay, we only have discrete outcomes, but I'll still use this sort of space here. Hopefully it will make sense. Then let's think about outcome F. Outcome F is four, five, or six. So it's the five again, so I'm gonna draw that both in green and in red, five, but also four and six. So let me draw a circle around this, okay? So that was F. And then outside of these two events, there is one additional number, and that is the two. Okay, that's neither in E nor in F. So with this, it should be obvious that the probability that we have E and F, that is this intersection, is only five. Only if we get a five, we are in event both E and F. So that is one over six, because getting a five, the probability is one over six, a six. So what about the probability of E or F. Well, what we see here is that is either getting a one, three, five, four, or six. That's five out of our six numbers. So if we just look at this, we already know the answer to this should be a five over six. But how do we calculate that based on these two probabilities? So how does that relate? That probability relate to the probability of E and the probability, sorry, the probability of F. So it's not just a plus here, because that would be 0.5 plus 0.5, that'd be one, but we need five, six. Well, if we were to add the probability for the red outcome and the probability for the green outcome, which is what we would do if we just added these two probabilities, we would double count the five because it's both red and green. So we would need to subtract once the probability of getting a five. And what is the probability of getting a five? That's of course just this probability here. Probability of getting E and F. So we are subtracting the probability of E and F. What we then get is 0.5 plus 0.5 minus 
What is that? 1 over 6. So we have 1 minus 1 over 6, and that is 5 over 6. So when you are adding probabilities, calculating probabilities of the union of events, what you have to make sure is that you are, if there is an intersection, that you subtract the probability for that intersection. 